is currently 9.01 in the morning. Happy Vlogmas Day 13. It's crazy that we have 13 days down. But a reading update for y'all. I have one. So I was reading by myself and then I went on YouTube and seen and realized and remembered that Christine and Jen were doing sprints. So I started um, joining in on their sprints and everything. So I read a lot of Clackety yesterday. I was trying to finish it, but I didn't. Um, but I can finish it today. I have 55 pages left of the book. So I'll be able to finish this today. But I am currently on page 225, almost on chapter 24. I'm literally one page away from chapter, or part three, not chapter, sorry, part three. Um, so, some crazy things have been happening. Um, she met some ghosts that had pennies for eyes. Then she got to keep pennies. She met the three witches, obviously. And she realized that the last house that she had to go into to get her aunt was Pope's house. So, um, she went to Pope's house before she, but before she went into Pope's house, she put a bell around her neck that makes her, um, soundless, like no sound. No one around her can hear her. Um, she put pennies in her eyes, like, a, in her eyes, um, so no one could see her. And she's going through out through this house. She couldn't find her aunt, but she knew her aunt was there. Like, she could feel that her aunt was there. She came across this cabinet that had chess pieces. And then she went upstairs and found Pope's brother's rooms. And every time she took a veil off of the mirror, um, she felt this cold rush. The only mirror she didn't take, the only veil she didn't take off a mirror was Pope's mom. Which I thought, of which I think she should have done. Because it can't come, she found out after she went, had to go down in the basement, um, that Pope's brothers were trapped in the mirror. If you didn't know, um, there's a, I don't want to say superstition, but there's a thing. If you, uh, don't put something over a mirror, a ghost can get trapped inside of the mirror. And if they're trapped in there and you put something over the mirror, they're, they're trapped in there. That's, um, one of the lore. I'll just say lore. So, um, where I left off at, uh, Pope's brothers were cornering him and she like chased them upstairs. Her aunt Desmonia is like a porcelain doll right now that Pope was doing something to. So she has her in her backpack and she has to figure out how to get Des's whole body, just her whole body. And to get Pope to the Clackety. For some reason, the Clackety wants Pope. The ghosts, or the witches told her that that's a bad thing. Like, if they merge and they 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 get together, something really bad's going to happen. But she doesn't know what. So that's what's happening with this. Um... So, I'll finish that today. And then after I'm done with that, I'm going to be picking up Beware the Snowman. I went to the library, and this is one of the books I got from the library. Um, I really, really just want to read it. And I need to own my own copy for sure. Um, how many pages is actually in this Goosebumps book? This Goosebumps book has 113 pages. Um, yeah, I really just need to own this book myself too, for sure. Um, after I read uh, Beware the Snowman, I am thinking of picking up Scrooge. Sorry if you hear that, it's my heater. Every time it kicks on, it makes this little clicking noise. It's very irritating and annoying, and I wish it wouldn't do that. But it does. Um, up here, the tagline says, He's got a heart of cold. And it's just a snowman. A very scary-looking snowman. If you've ever seen Jacobus' work. I know it's kind of dark in here, but you'll probably see it better in later on in clips during the day. But, yeah, I have to... 
I don't have to. I want to read this. So I put this on my TBR for December because I was sitting there thinking, I was like, I know Stein has wrote in some Christmas or Christmas e-books. Um, I've already read the 12 Screams of Christmas. Um, and I remember while I was playing my Goosebumps game that there's a snowman book. I just didn't remember the name. So I went back and watched Cam Cameron Chaney's videos um, from Library Macabre. If you're not subscribed to him, which you probably are, but if you're not, you need to go check up, check out Library Macabre, Cameron Chaney. He is so amazing, so nice. He's the nicest human ever, y'all. Um, he, yeah, he's cool. <laughs> but he also has, he's an author, and he has Autumn Crow and Autumn Crow High, Fresh Hell, that just came out. Um, so go pick up your copy. I need to get my copy of Fresh Hell for sure. I'm hoping I get it for a Christmas present because that would be just amazing. I loved Autumn Crow. Autumn Crow was amazing. I read it during the Halloween season. Perfect for Halloween season, y'all. Perfect. So, back to this. Uh, so, I knew he wrote this. And then I totally forgot that he wrote a book called Young Scrooge. And I'm definitely going to read that because I got that from the library also. And I can't wait. So, my TV TBR has changed um, up a bit. I'm no longer going to read Tis, Tis Season Twice or something like that from um, my Kindle. I might read it next year or whenever. Or if I have time, I might read it. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Because I still want to pick up a Christmas Saurus. So a Christmas Saurus might be my last book of December. I don't know. It depends on how long it takes me to read these Stein books. Typically it doesn't take me forever to read Stein. But I also got um, The Adventures of Shrink Man by Stein. Because I heard, I seen Cameron talk about it. And I really want to read it. And I never heard about it before until Cameron was talking about it. So I'm like... Oh my god, my library has it. Why not check it out? So, yeah, I'm going to do that. Um, but is it a video of mine if I don't talk about Stein or read a Stein book? <laughs> if y'all are new here, if you go through my channel, you're going to see a lot of goosebumps or a lot of talk of Stein or anything like that. I mean, this year I did do Steintober, something I just made up reading R.L. Stein books in October so yeah um so I have to do that um we do have to go to the store today so I'm hoping little guy feels a little bit better yesterday he was feeling really good like he had his energy back and everything he was slightly warm had a little bit of a runny nose but I'm hoping today He's good, like we nipped it in the butt before it got even worse um, because I gave him medicine throughout the day yesterday and then I gave him medicine before he went to bed last night. So I'm hoping I nipped it before it got even worse. Um, but yeah, so um, we I have to go to the library also today because my husband's book is due and he can't check it out again until someone else checks out the book. So I'm going to see if I can check out the book so he could continue reading it because, yeah. And I told him maybe he'll get it for Christmas, but we'll see what happens. Um, but I'm going to get off here because this is a, a long update yet again. <laughs> but I'm going to get off here and I'll chat with you when I have an update on reading or showing us going to the library or store. Okay, bye. Hey y'all. Yes, I'm wearing the same shirt. This is like a bed shirt. Um, we got mail today, so I got this package. And it's 
think it might be my art. I think so. This is from Ohio. And I think my art is from Ohio. Yeah, this is Pingo Books. So, I'm going to open this. This is like an early uh, Christmas gift um, to myself, from myself. I'm going to open it because I really want to open it. And I could reuse this bubble miller for sure if I don't ruin it. So, let me get this tape going. I don't want to show the front, y'all, because it has my address on it. I don't want no creepers. Alright. And listen, I know y'all aren't supposed to buy arcs. I know people aren't supposed to sell arcs. I bought this purely based because it's an R.L. Stein arc and I wanted it for my Stein collection. That's the only reason why I got this. It's all wrapped up and it says thank you. So I got an arc for and it was very inexpensive. It's not like I spent freaking $50 or $100 or 20 bucks on it. I only spent like 6 bucks on the arc. So. But I purely just wanted it for my collection. My Stein collection. So. I got an arc for Can You Keep a Secret by R.L. Stein. I have the original copy. I have the original copy. I have the final copy. So. Yeah, I love this. Oh, I'm so glad I got this in the mail. Oh my god, and they put a bookmark in it with books and some stickers, y'all. Oh, I love this bookmark. You can write on it with what books you want. I'm not going to write on it, but this is cute. I love this. Thank you. And the stickers says, books are magic, books are magic, and... In the end, we'll all become stories. Margaret Atwood. <clears throat> I've never read anything by Margaret Atwood. Um, I've heard some compromising things about her. <laughs> like her Handmaid's Tale book, but whatever. I've never read her. Probably never will. But this is a pretty cool sticker. I could put this either on my Kindle or my tablet. Or my reading journal. That's so nice of them to uh, give me a little bit of like, stickers and a bookmark to go with it. So this is an early Christmas gift to myself, from myself. <laughs> I really love it. Oh, amazing. Juvenile fiction, horror, and ghost story stories. Wow. This is advanced uncorrected proof. Hmm. But yeah. So, that was it for a little bitty book mail. We got some other stuff in the mail, but I'm not going to show you. I'm going to totally keep this bubble mailer because I can use it for something else or someone else's gift. So that's a plus. And... Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited I got this for my collection, y'all. So, I'm going to put it on uh, my shelf over there with the rest of my Stein books. And I'll chat with you when I have an update on something. Bye. Hi, y'all. It's about... Hold up one second. 11.06 in the morning and a little guy decided to come outside really early this morning. It's a bit nippy. Um, we're supposed to be getting rain. Right now it's really cloudy. Um, but he wanted to come outside. He's all bundled up. Hey. Oh. Jumped. We're outside so he can play. He's feeling a lot better today, I could tell. And he's not as warm or hot. He still has a, a slight cough. 
Um, so I'm going to give him some more medicine later. And, uh, yeah. But, like I said, we have to, go, I need to go to Walmart and I need to go to the library today. So. And. Some point in time, I need to go to the post office to mail off everyone's Christmas letters and to mail Jin's cookies off. So I need to do cookies also, for sure, so I can mail those off. <laughs> so, yeah. But I'm going to get off here. I just want to give you all an update. I still haven't read or nothing. But we are currently outside, as you can see. The neighborhood cat's over there. But we're outside just chilling. He's playing on the porch right now. So chat with y'all when I have some sort of update doing something. Returning this. Oh, some sauce. Anything else? That'll be it. All right. Thank okay. you. Have a good day.